So Star Slips we're getting raided. It's a three versus three, but we have pretty good cover. And Kucha is actually getting really close. I don't know why they're not shooting from further away. Like Ian has a hunting rifle and Lance actually got tagged. But yeah, they decided to get really close and we actually knocked out Hakucha. We're gonna have everyone turn their fire on the Ian and we're gonna try to just take him out really fast. Cause I think if we take out just two, the other guy will run. Ian has pretty good cover behind this rock. Like he is not, okay, never mind. He just dead. We're having Doomguy try to chase down Poe and we actually did just tag Poe. I think we're a bit quicker than him and Poe has less range than Doomguy. So there's really no risk of getting injured by chasing Poe down. And there we go, we tagged Poe again. That's gonna slow him down. He made it to the edge, but he just didn't decide to go to the edge for some reason. Like, he could just escape right now. Well, I guess when you raid, you usually can leave by any part of the map. I'm not sure why you just didn't take the easiest exit, but yeah, we hit some nice shots at the end and ended up killing him. We stripped him for all of his gear, and he actually had this sheep wool military uniform, which is tainted, but Doom Guy doesn't mind wearing tainted gear. He's got the bloodless trait. And the military uniform does increase his pain shock threshold by 10%, so he's less likely to go down. Can Doom Guy wear shoes? Oh, he can with the recon armor. Cool. So we got some shoes gloves and what about this vest i don't think you can wear the vest yeah you can't what about this coat nope you can't wear the coat this dude also had a good revolver so we'll take that and we'll just leave the rest of this stuff to deteriorate it's all tainted so no one else is going to want to wear it or is that actually the case hakuja who we knocked out and we took her prisoner lily's now bandaging her up and we don't want to use a good medicine on her i tried to just have lily use the good medicine for one tend as hakuja was bleeding out really bad she had four hours left but i think lily ended up using more than one but yeah hakuja is not great in combat like she has one shooting and she has poor aim which which lowers her accuracies, although she does have bloodlust, so she would actually wear those clothes. Just like Doom Guys, she'll wear any tainted clothing. Hakuchi though is really good at planting and she's got a burning passion for it. And we have no one yet that's good at planting. She also is good at medical as well. We have no one that's good at medical. She does have 19 resists, which is quite a lot, but she's got a few major stats that we need, so we're definitely gonna hold on to her. It's also to remove these sleeping spots so she's not sleeping in a barracks and we'll clean up this room. It's really bloody. And that increases the chance that she gets infected. We don't want her to get an infection. Doom Guy why are you sleeping in our room dude that's just a little bit creepy oh and also one funny thing i noticed about hakuja was in her childhood she was a killer in her adulthood she's a healer so she definitely did reform her ways i saw this on reddit actually somebody made a post on this exact childhood and adulthood and just how kind of ironic it was it's funny that i ended up getting a colonist with the same exact background story towards the end of last episode we had i think it was a lily and con mine out two of these compacted machinery and we're having lily mine out the last and oh she got two components very nice that's pretty lucky, I think. But yeah, we're gonna have Lily put those components into this nutrient paste dispenser, and we really don't want to botch this, by the way. Lily currently has an 8% chance to botch this. It would be very, very unlucky if she did. And yes, we finally got it up and running. The glorious nutrient paste dispenser. To fill her up, we got quite a few boars out here. And we're gonna have Doom Guy hunt all these. But yeah, we killed three of the boar. And who do we have here? Is this a Timberwolf trying to impede on our kill? I think it is. Pretty sure the Timberwolf's coming over here to consume one of these boar corpses because it's moving so fast. We just need to tag it and not let it eat any of these corpses. Where is it going? It's going for something else, I guess, and yay, we tagged it, and it's revenging now. We're another doom guy, just kite it. And we tagged it a bunch, and it's about to go down. And there we go. Well, the Timberwolf is another thing we can butcher. So we got kind of a problem on our hands. I just noticed that it's 127 degrees inside, as we do have a heat wave currently going on right now. Outside it's 129, so yeah, we're not really doing a good job of cooling this base. People are going to start getting really bad heat stroke if we don't build more coolers. I think one cooler is not going to be enough. It might be, like, Lily's room was 70 before we opened the door. But yeah, even if we move everyone into, like, this square, I don't think it's going to be enough. Actually, I just realized there's not a door here, so we're going to move this door and wall this square room off. I thought we might I need these batteries so i was kind of saving them but we're gonna deconstruct them and they should give us one component each yeah okay they give us 52 steel and one component for deconstructing them we're having doomguy mine out this compacted machinery over here and yeah doomguy is actually in heat stroke what do we haven't put on this double strand bowler hat by the way that offers really good heat protection looks like his heat stroke's actually not going up anymore you also can't see the hat by the way people in the comments were saying to install a mod that hides hats because lily was wearing this balaclava and it's super ugly so until we get lily a nicer hat we're gonna hide hats and yeah lance our nudist is actually getting really bad heat stroke he has 26 percent heat stroke right now because he has no clothing on like lily is tolerating it okay she's only at five percent because she's got a bunch of clothing on which actually it wouldn't really make a whole lot of sense that someone's wearing right armor and that's cooling them off somehow but i guess that's how it works and crap lily and lance are actually socializing i don't like this i'm trying to hook doom guy up with lily and it seems like lily and lance are always just having a great time together while doom guy is mining out that compactor machinery so we can build another cooler we're gonna have lily make some vents in here so our prisoner hukuja 
Georgia doesn't end up dying of heat stroke. She's actually at 30% almost. Her prison cell was pretty hot. It's cooling down a bit though. It's also nighttime, so the overall temperature is kind of cooling down a bit. And it's now only 99 inside, which is still really hot, but it's not 129. And Lance actually is still getting heat stroke, even with it being 97 in here. We're gonna have him put on this blouse. Desperate times call for desperate measures. And that's gonna help him tolerate the heat. His heat stroke should start going down now. It's the next day, and we kind of messed up with building the vents as we ran out of steel to be able to build the cooler. So we had to have Doom Guy mine at night, and he was really tired doing so. But he eventually got some steel, and Lily helped him out. And now she's making the second cooler, which hopefully she doesn't botch it. Very low chance to botch, and perfect. Two coolers should be enough to cool up this square area, I think. We also have this door open, so Khan's getting some cool air too. We finally got our first quest, the Fleeing Praetor, and it's a tough one. This girl's being chased by a manhunting guinea pig. Here comes a guinea pig. We're gonna use all we can on it. So we stunned it, which is Hink's ability. He can stun things. And oh crap, that guinea pig's getting close. We're gonna have Hink try to stun it again. Yep, we stunned it, thankfully. And Hink actually can stun again. This thing seems like it is costing a bit of heat though. But yeah, we need to stun this guinea pig again. Maybe again. On just is not hitting it. There we go. We finally killed it. Ooh, that was a close one. But yeah, Hink Shuttle is here and we're gonna send him away. And that's gonna give Lance a bunch of titles as well as this Psylink Neuroformer. And that gave him a Psylink. He has Pain Block. Do you always start with Pain Block or am I just really unlucky? Because I've gotten that ability, I feel like, pretty much every time. It's not a terrible ability, I guess. We can use it on people when we're getting raided and they won't get knocked down as easy. The reason why we made Lance our Psycaster is because he's psychically hypersensitive. And more psychic sensitivity increases his Psycasting ability and almost double the amount of heat he can handle. Heat is generated when he performs side cast like pain block. Hopefully we get some better ones on this playthrough though. I'm not using the magic mod on this run either so side caster should be a lot more effective. But yeah even though it's still a heat wave we have gotten the indoor temperature down to 76 degrees which is not terrible. People might not even be sleeping in the heat. Yeah Lance actually just woke up and he doesn't have the slept in the heat mood debuff although Hakuja does and she slept in around 78 degrees which is unfortunate. We want to keep our prisoner Hakuja's mood up. And I don't know why by the way her room is hotter than the main room because there's a venting system and like in this room over here actually it's 85 so yeah the air has kind of like a travel mechanic i guess you could say you'd think since this door is open it would just vent it all into this room too but no it's not the case i guess but yeah since we got the heat wave under control and like we're doing okay on food we got this nutrient paste dispenser since our colony is okay we're gonna have doom guy go out and do some more exploring he actually got a random inspiration go frenzy so he's moving really fast on this nearby tile there's another ancient tomb we're gonna open this thing up and holy cow that's a lot of mechs and that's a lot of caskets as well and Ooh, I'm seeing some Luciferium 11 of it. Very nice. Doomguy can use that to replenish his stock. But yeah, let's have Doomguy just kite these things. And he's really quick, so there's no way they can catch up to him. We actually ended up tagging that Scyther already. And he's using a hunting rifle, by the way. Um, one of the raiders did drop this thing, and it's got a huge amount of range. 42 range, I think it is, on this thing. And yeah, we're tagging this Scyther pretty good. It is unfortunately a rainy thunderstorm, so our accuracy is lowered by, I guess, around 20%. Six hours later. We should have brought another sidearm. Okay, finally we knocked it out. But yeah, if we had like a machine pistol there or something, we would have been able to just destroy that thing. And oh crap, we're in range of that Lancer. That was close. We got another Lancer coming out here. There's three Lancers we got to take out. Oh, we, we actually killed one. I guess Lancers are much squishier than Scythers, which would make sense because they're ranged. Oh yeah, we double tagged that one and killed it. Lancers are really squishy. I didn't realize how squishy they are. And we knocked its weapon off, actually. Can it even do anything at this point? It's moving really slow though because we tagged it a bunch. We're going to grab all this stuff. Neural Trainer Animals actually is really good. And by the way, there's an Arcotech shield belt in here. It gives a lot of shield, like 450 shield, and you can shoot out of it. It just doesn't recharge. But yeah, we're actually going to leave this Lancer alive and we're going to try to get an angle on these caskets. Okay, never mind. Actually, you can't use the Arcotech shield belt with a range. I thought you could for some reason, but no. We're going to have Doom Guy open up these caskets, shoot one of them, and yep, they are all hostile. These guys are going to be potentially actually pretty easy to take out because we can just kite them. Oh, that guy actually has a good amount of range. Holy cow. Let's see all their ranges. Oh yeah, they got good range. I think we can outrange them though with our hunting rifle. One of them seems like they have as much range as Doomguy almost. We just got to stay out of their circles mainly and keep one of them in Doomguy's circle. We have not tagged any of them so far, which is unfortunate. There we go. We finally tagged Tyron. Didn't do any damage to him, but popped his smoke pop belt. 
and we tagged him again did no damage to him because his armor is really good so this whole thing took quite a while with our hunting rifle we did outrange them and we just kited them in circles we killed or injured most of them until two were remaining and this guy wang was among the ones we injured and this guy's got a bad back which does kind of suck because his traits are okay like he doesn't really have anything we need too much and also he's volatile by the way so it's way easier for him to have a mental breakdown we're not even gonna try to save him though we're just gonna strip his gear and this guy actually had some ballistic goggles we'll put those on and those lower aiming time by 10 percent which is gonna be great for doom guy and okay this is actually not good the ancients are giving up and they're leaving blue still got 12 hours to bleed out so we're gonna have to charge blue oh no not get tagged though blue's also got severe blood loss so i feel like if we just tag him one more time he could go down maybe we get out the carbine here and we just charge oh crap doom guy got tagged but yeah we weren't tagging blue at all and okay we tagged blue but just hit his armor Tag blue again. Blue's now got seven hours and he's moving only at 24% speed. Ooh. Crap, this is close. Like, blue's getting close to the edge. We're gonna have to just rush him, I guess, which sucks. Headshot on blue. He's got four hours left. Don't think. Okay, yes, we knocked him. That's awesome. We don't really care too much about Richards. We could try to knock him out. And we're just gonna okay we killed him actually he did have an advanced component too so we'll take that and the plasteel blue's only got three hours to live so we're gonna have doom guy stabilize him up doom guy himself is bleeding a little bit not bad enough for us to really care our main focus is saving blue he's got two hours left and he's got three we do need to bandage up his foot i guess is really bleeding bad yeah we got that thing bandaged up he's actually got four hours now and yeah with that last bandage he's now got seven hours so we captured blue and doom guy was carrying him for a while and we sent out con and lance to help carry all the goods back to base we got a a bunch of stuff by the way and we'll go more over it later on the main thing though is we did end up capturing blue who's got 12 implanting in animals with the torture artist trait and this trait is the only way you can make legendaries it's just going to take a long time to get your crafting up being that she's part of the ancients she's only got five resists so she's gonna be really easy to recruit as well i think i also called her a he by the way a bunch of times but yeah she's a 41 year old female hakuja by the way is a 20 year old female that's more of doom guy's age and hakuja and doom guy both have the bloodless trait they have quite a bit in common with that i mean and again, Hakuja is really bad at aiming, but she's a girl. Doom guy will give her a pass on that. But yeah, once we recruit Hakuja and Blue, we'll have a three female to three male ratio. So not everyone's going to be simping over Lily anymore. And with that, we're going to end this episode. Here's how our base is looking. Our stockpile is just a mess right now. And the next episode, we're really going to be working on the base. We also were given a quest to take out this insect camp, and we're going to be doing that at the start of the next episode. If you are liking the daily remold stuff, then drop a like. And with that, I want to thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one.